When we speak about love of Allah, having love of Allah, then it again reminds us that if Allah is the one who had sent Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam as his beloved messenger, the final messenger, and just as we read in Surah Ali Imran, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي Say, if you love Allah, you should follow me. In order for a person to show and to display that he is and demonstrating his love for Allah, to put it in practical or to implement and inculcate the actions of the Prophet wasallam, the sign that a person has love for Allah is that he has love for the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. يَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ Allah will forgive you and your sins. So this is where we need to anchor ourselves by the many verses in the Qur'an to increase in our love for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in so doing, Allah would love us. And how simple it is. How beautiful is this verse of the Holy Qur'an. But then again we see our condition. That first remember, the heart is never empty. Either we fill it with the love of Allah or the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Or we would fill it with the love of قُلْ إِن كَانَ آبَاؤُكُمْ وَأَبْنَاؤُكُمْ وَإِخْوَانُكُمْ وَأَزْوَاجُكُمْ وَعَشِيرَتَكُمْ وَأَمْوَالٌ يَكَتَرَفْتُمُوهَا وَتِجَارَةٌ تَخْشَوْنَ كَسَادَهَا وَمَسَاكِنُ تَرْضَوْنَهَا أَحَبَّ إِلَيْكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَجِهَادٍ فِي سَبِيلِهِ فَتَرَبَّسُوا حَتَّى يَأْتِيَ اللَّهُ بِأَمْرِهِ So understand that on the one hand we know that Almighty Allah Ta'ala has made it very clear that if you love Allah then you should follow the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So alama to hubbillah is Allah, the sign that a person has love for Allah is that he has love to emulate and follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa So the heart is never empty. Either we fill it with the love of Allah, his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa or as Almighty Allah Ta'ala says, if the love you have for your fathers and your sons and your brothers, your wives, your families, the wealth that you have accumulated, the dwellings that you take delight in. If all these are more left to you than Allah and His Messenger, and striving in, in the path of Allah in His way, then you should await until Allah Ta'ala brings down His decree. So we need to anchor ourselves by the Quran, reflecting on this verse, Understanding the importance of increasing in our love for the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We need to anchor our love for Allah, love for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by the Quran, reflecting, contemplating Alladheena yadhkuroon Allah qiyama wa qu'udan wa ala junubihim wa yatafakkaroon fi khalqi samawati wal ard رَبَّنَا مَا خَلَقَتَ هَذَا بَاطِلَ Those, as Allah Ta'ala shows us in the alternation or in the creation of the heavens and the earth, the alternation of the day and night, all these are signs for those who are from Ulil Al-Bab, those who reflect, those who ponder, those who remember Allah, standing and sitting in every position, if we keep ourselves connected with the one who has created the heavens and the earth, if we understand our purpose of life, if we understand that we have a purpose in the life of this temporary abode, if we understand that we all are on a journey, and if we want to see our success and salvation in the life of the year after, then undoubtedly we need to increase in the remembrance of Allah when there is greater attachment connection to our Creator, when we understand that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, He is our excellent example. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ If we anchor ourselves by the Qur'an to increase in our love for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by emulating His way, His teachings, by implementing, 
by inculcating, by striving and working, because the heart is never empty. Either we fill it with the love of Allah, love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam,